Hey guys, uh, I hope everyone's good. Happy Sunday. Um, so excited to be here today. Lots has happened this week. I know um, people have been um, going through a few emotions this week. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds uh, to see who can join and then I'll get started. <laughs> if you're on, just uh, say hi, please, because I also realize that with uh, Facebook Live, sometimes you don't get messages right away and that's fine. So um, it's Sunday <laughs> and we're going to get uh, a new week started and... Um, this week has been really interesting for me. I had someone reach out to me and ask me a beautiful message from a lovely person. And um, she essentially um, sent me a message saying, Hey, Neelam, um, you know, I had a, I had a bit of an awakening um, and I had my, what she calls the dark night with the soul. And um, she says, um, ever since then, I just feel like I'm judging the world because I'm having just really negative um feelings about the world I live in and and she's like is there something wrong with me <laughs> and I think you know I I know the feeling to to be in a in a certain um way and go in a certain direction and and sort of feel like you're you're judging your own journey but you're also kind of judging um the world at large that you're living in and you're wondering why can't they see it too um and that's not always possible. So her her question was like, is something wrong with me? And my immediate response back to her was absolutely nothing wrong with you. A lot of people go through these journeys and um, everyone is trying to embrace some level of meaning in what they're going through. And um, so I wrote back to her and I requested if she was comfortable with me sharing this within this community because I think it might benefit a lot of us. Um, especially those of us who feel like their um, charge on the planet is a bit different or feel like, um, you know, they're brought here to do something extremely uh, different. And for any of those people, my heart goes out to you. It's not going to be an easy journey, I promise you. But um, your coping me mechanisms can change over a period of time. The second uh, she said to me that I shouldn't be feeling this way, I was like, I know that exact feeling and any time with any situation we go through and let's say we're having a reaction and the next words are in this shape or form, I shouldn't X. The moment you have, I shouldn't be feeling X, I shouldn't be doing this, I should be doing that, look at what everybody else is doing. You're, you've com completely invited you know, and, and opened the channel to, to shame. And shame is not a friend. Shame can be a good teacher, but shame was is not going to be a good friend. And and when she said that to you, I was like, oh gosh, I know this feeling. I know you want to sit there and just be like, why? Um, and you know, oh, I know this feeling. I've been living in that state for a large, large portion of my life. And um, you know, I've either been called too sensitive or um what else? I'm trying to think of what I've been called. <laughs> too sensitive, um, too independent, too... Um, someone called me weird once. <laughs> I'm cool with it because I'm like, well, that's your connotation of what you're experiencing. And I think people who are very connected with what they're going through are going to feel like people around them are very divorced from their own emotions and, and the way they're processing the world, world is different. The key here is not to separate. Remember, anyone who's going through a certain experience and is coming at you for some reason is coming at you because they have their own set of perceptions and their own set of life journey and their own upbringing and their own um, experiences that they're bringing to the table, just like you are. So you're not that different. You're just in a different lane. If you look at it that way, you're going to start being less judgmental of people who are not following the same path that you are and Oh gosh, Ashari, I'm going to tell you in a second. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. It's like picking a favorite child. I can't. <laughs> but here's the thing. The second you start um, separating yourself from other people who are not on the same journey as you, you're bringing more division in your, in your, in your, your personal collective. And right now, the state we're in, humanity as a whole, 
we really, really need people who are who are still progressing and still doing the work that they're charged with, right? And moving in that direction, knowing that there's not gonna to be too many people coming with us on this journey and it's perfectly okay. The part that becomes really, really hurtful is when you think certain people who have been in your life for, for a really long amount of time are not coming on board with, with what you're doing. And that's cool, each to their own. I think it depends on the relationship you're in you know, you can't affect the world at large in the way they perceive you. But if it is a loved one, sit at the table, bring conversation to the table, bring dialogue to the table. And my favorite thing I say to myself is, is this sort of like a mantra? Um, I seek to understand and not to be understood. So I want to hear what you have to say, but I don't want to go in there with an expectation that once you say what you say and once I say what I say, we're going to be on the same page. And that's okay. That's part of the journey as well. That's part of experiencing your own truth and connecting with your own truth and say like, gosh, but I really strongly feel this way and this is how I'm going to go forward. And whoever's coming into my world, I know is coming to help me grow in that direction and also make me go in that direction. So all of these um, barriers we see, whether it's people calling us different, calling us weird, calling us odd, whatever that is, it's really to enhance you. And it's almost like a test to see how resolved and how resolute you are to be able to go do what you want to go do. And this is the time in our world, we really, really need people who are um, innovators, who are um, social impact entrepreneurs, um, our feelers, our gardeners, our poets, our writers, our engineers who want to change how we consume fossil fuel energy. Like we need these thinkers and for these thinkers to thrive, um, we need to separate ourselves from the judgment of our own journey and keep going forward. Um, I have so much, so much love for the person who wrote this to me because I was like, dude, sweetheart, I can't begin to tell you I know exactly what you're going through and I probably sometimes go through it in like record time over a period of like even a week sometimes and it's great because it's kind of reminding me like hey listen you didn't do your you didn't do your grounding practice or you didn't do your um, meditations or whatever it is you need to come back to because all of these um, situations are depleting your emotional energy when really what you need to do is like come back to your own center, come back to your own focus and say, listen, this is my truth. And today, perhaps this, this relationship will not work or this journey with this one person will not work. And that's fine. I accept, I embrace that I may not get a resolution and, I'm, and I may not be able to take this person on board with me on this journey as much as I love, for, love them and as much as I care for them. You know, um, we have to come to terms with the fact that there are going to be some loose ends in our lives and the right time and the right um, experiences may bring us back together as well. So being different is brilliant. Be different, be weird, be strange, be odd. We need more of this type of energy on the planet right now because this is where we come into our own humanity. We come into purpose where we come into offering more into the world than um, what society tells us we're supposed to be doing. I hope this helps. Okay, I also did something at almost 5.30 a.m. this morning for you guys. Um, I, I wrote out um, a guided um, affirmation, if you will, for, for all of us, for not just the situation, but for anything we're going to meet over the next week. And hopefully you'll come back to it if, if it resonates. It's in my handwriting. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, so what I request for, for these set of words from you, if you don't mind, is... If you're out and about and you have a moment to just stop for a second somewhere, um, plug in your phones and just listen to the words. If you're at home, definitely just chill out, like pull your hands out open um, and um, uh, relax your shoulders, your legs, your feet, everything that you possibly can. If you're driving or operating any heavy machinery, as they say in ads, do not do any of this. <laughs> do it in your own time. So... We'll just do our own uh, individual breaths, right? And, um, and then I'm going to go into, into what I wrote for you. And if you can close your eyes and take these words in, um, I think uh, I'd love to hear how you feel afterwards. <laughs> All right. 
Breath, please. It is okay for me to be different. I am safe in who I am. It is okay for me to grow and change and I understand that not everyone will always be a part of my evolution. I send love to anyone when I do not feel understood. I understand that who I am and who I'm becoming when I change will draw and hurt isolation into my world into my world i embrace each situation as it greets my path with loving kindness i know and rest in the knowledge that i'm doing the best i can and i also know that everybody else is doing the best that they can with this i rise and abandon what doesn't serve me or my journey or my shared humanity with everybody else who's on this planet. I am secure in where I am headed. And I also know that nothing outside of me defines me. I embrace the right people, places and situations, which I know will find me. And so I just keep moving forward. And one more time, I send ripples of love and kindness to my house, to my street, to my neighborhood, to my city, to my state, to the country I'm in, to the continent I live in, and to the entire planet, I extend the same loving kindness. I am peace and I make peace in my heart and mind for anyone who is not in the same journey as I am. I am different and this is my sacred power. I am different and this is my sacred power. I am different and this is my sacred power. I send you happy thoughts for today. I hope you I hope you stay different. I hope you stay weird. I I just hope you stay completely odd because I can't wait to see what shine you bring onto this planet just by being you. Don't change. Be kind to yourself because it's not going to be easy and and know that you're not alone in this journey and also know that your tribe will find you. The right people, the right places, the right situations are looking for you. Do not deviate. Stay on point. Stay on path. They're looking for you. I love you so much and I'm, I'm going to hold space for you um, all of today and I hope um, everything is beautiful for you. I just wish that for you and stay strong, stay good, take a walk in nature, connect with yourself this today if you can or at some point this week and keep telling yourself that you're different and this is your sacred power. Bye.